today's NMRI TV segment, we're doing a little bit of work on our project car. It's our 2006 Ford Mustang. It's a beautiful red car I'm sitting here in front of. This car right now runs 1270s. Now, right now, we've got JBA long tube headers, a TCI converter, some drag radials, and some other mild bolt-ons, and the car's pretty quick. As such, the car is sitting here on the lift at Vortex Superchargers for a supercharger installation. Let's take a look at what we're putting on. We're actually going to install a Vortex HO kit. Vortex HO kit is factory rated at 440 horsepower. Now this particular supercharger right here, this is an S trim or an SQ trim supercharger from Vortex. And also we're installing their intercooled kit. This is their max flow power cooler. This intercooler is good for about 600 horsepower. Now the standard kit comes with a six rib drive belt and like I mentioned, is good for about 450 horsepower. So let me turn it over to Ricky Best. He's gonna talk a little about some of the upgrades we're doing. Hey, what's up? I'm Ricky Best with Vortex Superchargers. As James had just mentioned, we're going to take our standard S trim kit with the HO after cooler and add a couple of upgraded options to it. One of those upgrades is the supercharger unit itself. We're going to replace the V2 S trim with our V2 T trim option, which is going to give us the ability to make a little bit more horsepower a little further down the road. We're shooting for 500 horsepower at the tire on this car, and this blower is going to be the perfect blower to do that. All of that stuff on the dyno with a custom tune should take us exactly where we want to be. We started the installation of the Vortec GT High Output System by removing the air intake, stock pulleys, and front engine dress. The fuel injectors and fuel rails needed to come out, and we also needed to remove the stock intake assembly from the Mustang. Today we're installing Vortex 8 rib supercharger upgrade. This is two extra ribs from the factory kit's six rib. As you can imagine, the two extra ribs allow greater belt tension and as well allow the supercharger pulley to be smaller and to make more boost. Since we're running a T-trim, this is going to be an important part of the install. Now, this isn't the easiest thing in the world, but Vortex done most of the hard work for you. You'll need to remove all of the pulleys on your front engine dress to do this install. Those include the idler pulleys, power steering, alternator, and as well, probably the most challenging is the harmonic balancer. You can notice the stock harmonic balancer uses a six-rib accessory drive. We'll be installing Vortex aftermarket balancer that includes an eight-rib. As well as the alternator pulley, you'll need this special tool from Ford. You can get it in any Ford dealer. It has splines on it and the other side for a socket. You simply put it into the alternator pulley, and that makes it for easy removal. Ricky's going to install the 8-rib supercharger pulley that Vortex supplies. This 8-rib pulley, like we already mentioned, is the same diameter as the 6-rib unit. However, it has the extra two ribs. Then you move on here to the air conditioning pulley. This is also an 8-rib pulley. This is the last of the about eight pulleys that we added to this kit. So all in all, this Vortec 8-rib kit will just allow us to run more boost and significantly increase our belt life. As part of our install, we're going to be installing 60-pound injectors in our car. If you look at these 60-pound injectors, they came from Anderson Ford Motorsport. They're very easy to install. We've already got the intake manifold removed from our 2006 Mustang. The fuel rails are held in by four bolts, easily bolted to the top. Once you get them unbolted, they just pop out relatively easily. You can just remove the entire fuel rails. And there are some retaining clips, but there's a retaining clip that easily snaps off with the screwdrivers. Once we have the injectors removed, then we'll be installing the 60-pound injectors. They just pop in, the retaining clip goes on, and then we can reasonably install the fuel rails back onto the manifold. Now it was time to tap our oil pan for the Vortec oil fitting. This gives the supercharger system a new, fresh flow of oil for lubrication purposes. We made sure to pack our tap with grease to catch any loose metal particles. Installing the Vortec bracket and 8-rib pulley setup was pretty easy. We dropped on our intake manifold and made sure it was torqued to spec. All right, so now the front bumper's off to make room for the heat exchanger. We're going to mount the heat exchanger right here behind the, the main bumper support. We've already installed the new hardware that hangs this, the heat exchanger, so we'll just grab the heat exchanger and slide this bad boy in there. All right, check this out. We're about 90% of the way through this installation for the supercharger. We discussed before about how we're going to use an upgraded supercharger instead of our traditional V2 S trim. This is the V2 T trim offering that Vortec has. This thing has a three and three quarter inch inlet and flows up to about 875 horsepower in comparison to the S trim 625. There's six mounting bolts that hold the supercharger to the plate. Once we get those threaded in, tightened up, we can bolt the intercooler on.
All right, well, this is it. These are the final steps of this supercharger installation. You got the first half of the air intake ducting put on. I'm gonna put the second half on right now. That houses the mass air meter and the k and air filter. So we'll slide this thing on here. As soon as we're done with that, we'll strap this thing to the Mustang chassis dyno and see what kind of numbers it's gonna make. Now that our pony had some oats under the hood, courtesy of Vortec T-Trim Supercharger, it was time to get busy on the dyno. We strapped our Torch Red GT down, put the Diablo Sport Predator tune-up in her, and let it fly the rear wheels. Once the roller stopped, we ended up with 507 flywheel horsepower from the T-Trim equipped GT Mustang. We're proud to say that since we've gotten street miles on our Mustang, it's not only super quick, it drives just like stock. <laughs> 